The Art Teacher from the Black Lagoon by Mike Thaler, pictures by Jared Lee. Today, I have my first art class. The teacher's name is Crayola Swamp. The kids call her the Glitter Queen because she leaves trails of sparkles wherever she goes. They say sometimes she makes her dresses out of egg cartons, her jewelry out of pipe cleaners, and her hats out of paper plates. She wears a long ponytail that she paints with, and she has a big weasel that she paints on. Her room is supposed to be a recycling dump. And her closets? Forget it! They're still looking for a kid who opened one. They say she tells you how to express yourself. I want to draw dinosaurs biting each other's heads off. But she makes you draw flowers, clouds, and other girl stuff. And they say you have to paint with your fingers. Gross! I'm wearing gloves. And then she makes you paint with your feet. Some kids will never have to wear socks again. You can really slop around because there's pigments and styrofoam everywhere. Some kids throw paint and have tempera tantrums. On Valentine's Day, you have to cut out hearts. That could get messy. And then there's the clay that's really messy and squishy. She puts you on a wheel and spins you around until you're frizzy and dizzy. Then she sticks you in an oven and fires you. Can I get fired from school? They say you can come out of her class with a real glazed look. Then there's the mobiles. Some kids are still hanging around a room. A kid named Art and a kid named Matt got framed and hung on the wall. They say she has a pot full of glue and some kids end up sticking to their projects, projects for a long time. I heard you learn how to fold cookies into different shapes. It's called Oreogami. And then you have to learn about artists. There was a whole bunch of them and they were all a little weird. One artist lay on his back for four years and painted a ceiling. He should have used a roller. It would have been much quicker. And there's another guy who cut off his ear and mailed it to Erie, Pennsylvania. Their paintings are weird, too. This one guy named Dolly painted wacky watches. And a guy named P. Katso painted mel melted Martians. But most of them just painted their own thumbs. My dad says people become artists because they can't get regular jobs. Well, it's time to go to art class. We march in. Wow, there's a big rainbow on the wall. It's awesome. Miss Swamp says we can use every color in it. I'm going to paint rainbow dinosaurs biting each other's heads off. I'm going to love art. Maybe I'll even be an artist someday. The end.